All right, welcome, people. We're gonna be playing the vanilla campaign right now of Fallout 4, and during uh, well, I will do so. I will bitch and moan about the game, and about Fallout 3 storyline. So it will be fun. Will be lots of fun. Start new game achievements. Oh, I fucking hate achievements anyway. Annoying crap. Just playing. Yeah, you've unlocked the ass wiping uh, achievement. All right, you've. Uh, all right, what's that? Oh, you, you've picked up a, t a bum toothbrush. Right, you got uh, the 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 teeth for your friends. Uh, yeah, that's that's real good. That's real good. Well, let's get the shit show started with the lovely Miro character creation crap. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah. That crappy intro like the whole pre-war intro what i would like is um yeah first off i think that uh, the east coast bethesda games they should have taken place at the same time as fallout one why should they have taken place at um uh, because of fallout one well for one the whole uh parallel because of fallout three and fallout four they were already going uh, high on that anyway like this whole war War never changes, like really, in uh, Fallout 1 and Fallout War 2, they didn't really talk about po like pre-war America that much. It wasn't that big of a deal. People were like talking about, oh, and the hub, and trade, the and yada, yada, yada. They were more talking about the civilizations that they were currently preoccupied with than the ruins they were living in. They didn't really Certainly like think like, oh yeah, about, the, about America, and yada, yada. It was more like a forgotten like dream, like... You know, basically, like, yeah, so it's sort of like this Rome, like, oh, this this empire so long ago, you and nobody really wish. goes on, um... When the US ended World War II. But in uh, 3 and 4, it was just like, oh, America, 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 more America, 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 this, America, that. And so, uh, so, it should have, uh, maybe even earlier than Fallout 1, in uh, terms of the timeline. What also the reason for that is, is that humans tend to build and, like, change a lot as time progresses, you know, cultures evolve, they change, and if you're, like, 10, uh, 200 years later, and especially if you, like, had nuclear war and all this crazy shit that Fallout has, then you're gonna look at a very different culture than uh, the pre-war one. And if you, like, had, um, like that game like 80 years after the great war or so the then the century. great war would still be fresh hell well no you wouldn't really have people at that point that still remember like living at pre-war um, you would have people that like um, you know had their father or grandfather be like oh yes um back in my day we used to have cars and electricity and we didn't have to wipe our asses with our hands you know distant memory and you could have had that but no it is now the year Oh, right, shut the fuck up. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. Also, they don't really don't do this because uh, what was also a really uh, big shame wife. is that they don't really show like the big terror sense. that was going on before the whole Great War thing went because down. My time in the army taught me one thing. Oh God. And they keep going on with the war. It's the war, war never changes bullshit. War never changes. Oh, shut the fuck up. That's only fun when Ron Perlman does it at the intro. And they, they did hire the guy. And he didn't do the narration. Like, what the fuck is this kind of shit? Well, it's just something new. Or no. uh, I can't stand it. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. I'm gonna play a female character because I can't stand this fucking voice. Uh, well, let, let, let's do his face first. Ah, there we go. Let's let's uh let's have a, a pretty husband. I wanna I wanna I wanna be I want my baby to be married to a pretty man. Ah, there we go. Such a cute nose. Yep, that's perfect. No. That's uh, good. Yeah. I do say so myself. Fucking a right you do. Uh, uh, ears? Can I do the ears? Yes, I can. There we go. My handsome husband. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, that's enough. Uh, that's what do you not think, huh? roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish. Oh god, that's so bad. Uh face. Color. Mm. Fat. 
It's my hands and guy. Oh god. <laughs> I hope that yeah, actually I'm gonna make him like real butt ugly and then I hope that Sean when I meet him later in the game would just look like the ultimate abomination. I'm curious. Uh what else? Extras. Markings? Hello, handsome. Yeah. Whatever you say, Chuck. Oh. Can okay. I have all of them? I, I picked it, I think. Or did I? Oh, apply. There we go. Oh, I can apply them all. Nice. Yeah, very That's sexy. Pretty nice. Oh yeah, yeah, very nice. Oh, look at all that. I hope that Sean is gonna look so fucked up when I see him. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, real, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, whatever. Yeah, whatever, whatever. I don't care. Alright, let's make him a character. My turn, yeah, guy. fuck off. His voice actor, he just sounds so bored, like, ah, whatever. Uh, alrighty, well, what do we have to pick up? Oh, ooh la la, senorita. They should have had, like, a really spicy, like, Spanish chick do the voice, like, ah, senorita, blah, 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 nice. Voice acting choice. Should I play a Chinese chick? A Japanese chick? Whatever happened with pre-war Japan. That would have been interesting during the Great War to be, uh... Asian heritage. <laughs> I remember something about World War II, about what happened to a certain heritage who were American citizens. Yeah, that was, uh... Nah, why not? She kind of looks Korean. Korean refugee from the Chinese or whatever. They probably exist. Alrighty, let's, uh... Oh, no, Every no, no. time I see that face, I fall in love with you all over. Uh, hair style. There we go. Don't say anything cheesy, please. Uh, let's see. What kind of what, what kind of fun? She kind of has a goofy head. I think I'll choose another preset because this is kind of. Yeah, I'm gonna choose a different preset. Yaddy yaddy. No no. Uh, hair can fix that. Here I can fix all the faces. Style. And all the shitty songs have to be related to nuclear bombs. Also, you'd think that that's also a thing I'd like to see in Fallout. Just like in the, the 3D Fallout games, it's just invention of new music. Like, I don't know, like some, uh, you know, freighters playing on drums. Like, boom, boom, boom. Just, just look up, um, Combi Christ, uh, <laughs> Uh, without emotions life. That's the kind of sh bullshit I want to see. Just um, come because life in general. That's the kind of bullshit I want to see in Fallout. Would be strangely fitting. At least in my opinion. I'd like to see some more raider culture. I have the best hairdresser. I swear. Mm, it's the face? Something is uncanny here and I don't like it. Uh, typical. Typical pit. They're all pretty hideous. I don't know what something about them. There is something like very off-putting about these faces, and I can't exactly place on what it is. It just gives me this feeling, like comfort, and that there is something wrong here. Oh, well, maybe you should stop being such a fag and just chew something. God damn, man! All right, fine, fine. All right, damage. All right, I can. Um, Oh. That's, brutal. That's brutally scar. Damn. That's pretty fucking brutal. I kind of like it. Uh, this is good customization, though. I can't argue with the customization. Nah, she didn't get a glass glow smile. Right, I'll, I'll spare her that. Yep. Yeah, she spent some time at the Chinese torture camp or something. Maybe some of the locals uh, butchered her because she's Asian. <laughs> that's already getting fucking dark. 
<laughs> Headburn, of course. Oh, the real question is, what the fuck happened to her? Uh, 12 rounds now. Uh, not broken nose. No. Yeah, that's the, that's the real question. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn, man. What happened to you? I kind of like it. I, you, you like it. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, uh, well, then again, if you look at his mug, he can't really, uh, yeah, really a couple uh, made for each other. Oh, we're gonna have the biggest abomination of a kid ever. Alright, let's change that hair and then I'm done with this bullshit. Yeah, I've been like sitting here for 10 goddamn minutes like a... God, I'm just... Yeah, yeah, I'll just pick something. Uh... Don't judge me, I always go crazy over uh, character creation. Maybe you should have done that before you started playing the shit. Nah. No, 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 no. Elegant. Doesn't look that elegant. Makes it kind of look like. That looks nice. Does it? Kind of makes her look like Natasha from Followed One, like the pre character. A Russian chick. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Could you just hurry this shit up already? God damn, man. I just want to be ready. I want to look pretty in the atomic wasteland. And I don't know, maybe you should have downloaded it. Yeah, whatever. Brunette. Whatever. It all looks good on you. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm done. Confirm character. <laughs> what happened to her? Poor loss. Alrighty, we're done here. Uh, yep. Lumba. Why, well, the little shiny boy? I'm going to murder you later. I'm gonna murder you. Not because you are the leader of the institute, but because you're the leader of a badly written institute. Institute? Oh, yeah, I will be going on at length about that. Oh, can I hit that guy? Shut the door on him. No. Oh, God damn it. No, slumber. Slumber. Hey, dude. Good morning, ah! Well, I can't go wrong with this character. Technically, I wouldn't really say that he's like a Fallout 4 character. He's basically just, you know, the Mr. Handy says they portrayed him in uh, Fallout 3, which I have to give credit, they did quite well. And. <laughs> hey, Codsworth. Uh, God damn it, Nate. You well, of course. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. Open the door. Come at me, bro. No, no, no. I'm the mom. That's my job, bitch. Uh, actually, the baby might cry when he looks. Damn! <laughs> I kind of. I, yeah, I kind of like it. Look, look at that face. <laughs> like, yes, I am good housewife. I am good mother. It's not like I've been Russian or whatever the fuck spy in the past. Maybe that can be the backstory. Like, she was like, uh, you know, the Crimson Dragoons, like this Chinese special ops, and then they fell in love or something. Codsworth. <laughs> oh, romantic. Yeah, that's the thing. She, she was, yes, yeah, let's just say that uh, she was uh, ch ex Chinese special forces, just for shits and giggles. And she's, uh, now she just tries to be like the good housewife. Like, yes, I fought in the Great War, killed lots of fucking capitalist pigs, until I met husband who was a good man. Actually, that's not a Chinese accent. That I'll blow whatever accent I do anyway. Alright, alright, alright. What's going on here? Mm hmm Turn it on louder, it's a Ron Perlman doing the voice.
Fall attack this, fall attack that. What about all the riots? What about, um, shit, what is that disease calling in? Blue flu? Maybe if we ignore him, I'll go away. No. Uh. Good morning. Voltec calling. No offense. No offense, but no soliciting. Oh, no worries, ma'am. No worries at all. I'm not selling anything. I guess actually that I don't have to do like a you shitty Chinese accent. Well, I mean, I first of all, I'm not doing the voice, but. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What is it? What's so important? Well, obviously he's... Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning, now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here to I should have brushed up on my great war lord before watching this. Your family service to our country, but before the war even happened, things were pretty bad for, for both the United States into the and um, China. So Vault they must be pretty bourgeois anyway, but 11. whatever. Yeah, things were pretty fucking bad. But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Mine is your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. Yay. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Yippee. I don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. The apocalypse? Well, hell, sign me up. Yeah. <laughs> huh. That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Mm. What the fuck shall I name her? <laughs> Chinese names. Probably gonna name her after some shitty Chinese historical figure. Uh, what the fuck was her name? Wu Qian? Li Qian? Whatever. That's a fuck. That's not a proper Chinese name. Nah, shows how much you know about Chinese culture. Yeah, let's just go with Li. Whatever. Li it is. Uh, oh, wait, no. Oh, uh. uh Lee Zetian. Uh, don't question it. <laughs> oh, I'm so terrible. Uh, nah, I wouldn't say that she's particularly charismatic. With that uh, agility, yes. Intelligence, yes. Perception, yes. Endurance, it's okay. I so. Oh god, just like. That that's that's just that's a, such a thing I hate so much. Just to that's everything. fuck off. Just gonna walk this over to the vault. Close the door. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. Yeah. Good answer. I have my moments. Yeah. Drop the bomb already. Yep, Sean, don't go in here. I mean, Nate, whatever the fuck. Ahead, I'll be there in a second to help, okay? Nah. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? Oh, oh, oh. So romantic. Someone shoot this cocksucker. Get out of here. Shoo! Shoo! That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking bomb. we could head to the park. Throw, drop the bomb. And do what? And do what, exactly? Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? 
They should have that the characters. Oh. Followed by yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem oh. to have lost contact with what our affiliate stations. Oh no. We do, we do have we do have coming in. That's um. Poor Ron Perlman. He just got shafted so much. Reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. God. Oh God. All right, lads. And the, the pits already got created. Now. I've got Sean. Let's go. All right, let's have a little quick save here. Residents of Sanctuary Kill Hill. me! Kill me! Then again, I could just have a nice stroll. And look around the pretty sunset. Or I couldn't really move right now. But now. Ah, uh, you gotta go somewhere. Move. Move. Run. Why aren't you running? She's not running right now for some fucking reason. Hey, you, you little shit. I don't know. Because I can't run. There we go. Run. Run, 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 run. Oh. Uh, they would be in Vault 11 already, but whatever. Now we gotta have drama. Oh, oh right. <laughs> yeah, you press caps lock, you goddamn moron. You know, some people would say that they would have gone to Vault uh, 11 already in a more timely manner. I am Voltec. I am the Zenith. Okay, okay. I will this. Also, if you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return. Also, home. the official military just standing here and not going into the vault themselves. Yeah, fucking right. We need to get in. Loyal to the end. Just like, oh yeah, we're gonna just let these civilians in. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. you. Good luck, sir. Come What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything we can. Now the same going. as those moron soldiers who don't go inside here for no goddamn reason. Uh, but we wanted to show a power armor. Okay. He's fine. We're gonna be okay. <sighs> and we're all dead. Look at this. Yeah, an atomic bomb that close. First off, you're blind. Second off, you're irradiated. And yeah, that that dust right there, that's filled with some bad juju. And you're fucking dead. <laughs> that's no, 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 no. That's not even like if it's like Fallout Magic juju. That is some like no. We're talking about 50 red or whatever. 500 red. I mean, that's uh nope. That game over. Well, whatever. Did it. Yeah, we're okay. All right, let's go. Let's talk about how this could have been better. Actually, a whole pre-war intro is kind of wank in my opinion, anyway. Because one, you don't really have that much of a feel for what pre-life, um, pre um what life was like before the whole war went down. I mean, I mean, you could say like, hey, it's like 50s America, but no, 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 no. There was also like the bubonic plague going on. There was all kind of crazy crap going on. Riots fucking everywhere. Military on the street shooting people. It was goddamn bananas. All right, you three, follow me. Dickhead. See? It's down the hallway right there. You gotta die, Sean and uh, Nate. Whatever. I'm gonna laugh. This is one of our most advanced facilities. It's not that the others are She looks so fucking you. brutal though. I love Everything it. We had. My mother and father down in DC. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Well, hide up, buddy. For the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as 
is your new home. All right, freeze is done. Hey there. Follow me. Just step hey. in here and Vault put your vault is here for you. Just follow. Yeah, that sure took long. That sure wasn't a very uh, interesting. Oh, I really got a feel for the Our vault life. Contaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> a whole new life. Resident secure. <laughs> Die, bastard, with your I shitty voice. I mean, she has got a kind of a shitty voice, dude. Procedure but the actress is good. I like the actress. Five, four, oh, no. Three, two, and now we get Kellogg, the big bad mercenary gentleman. And eventually we're going to go into his brain. And then we're going to find out that he was a good guy all along. Well, not really a good guy, but like, he had his reasons. We're going to try to write character while we completely phone in the story and all other characters in the thing. It's like, oh, the Brotherhood, the Institute, especially the Institute, does not make fucking sense. Alright, so, let's talk about this right, right here. So, they're sending, Mr. K they're sending uh, the cereal, uh, they're sending a morning cereal over here. Uh, to fetch the baby because it's a pure-blooded baby and we need it to make sense. Um, what? You know, the whole pure-blooded thing, there was a thing in Fallout 1 and 2. Um, the reason why it was a thing was um, because in Fallout 1 you had like the um, facility where the FEV virus, which turns people into super mutants, was created. And um, uh, th there was a bomb dropped on there during the Great War. Which caused like the FEV virus to like go into the air and everyone was sort of infected. And um, that caused them to um, when um, that caused them to be also sort of resistant to the FEV. So when they would be dipped inside of the FEV to be turned into super mutants, they would um, they would be heavily damaged. They would have been heavily damaged by uh, the. Um, by the FEV and it would be brain dead. Basically look up Fallout 1 Harry. That's a uh, me brain human. So the master wanted all of the pure humans to um, to basically like take over the world. Because they would, would be able to lead this army because they'd actually have a brain. If not actually superior intelligence to regular humans. Anyway in Fallout 2 it was a big deal because the Enclave wanted to kill everyone that uh, wasn't uh, like infected because they were all a bunch of fucking maniacs. And in here they're like, we need a pure blood baby to create sins from, which... What? I mean, I'm sure like, yeah, you need the... You need the human DNA thing, but then you're just making sins of poor pure-blooded humans. Why not make sins of goddamn, you know, FEV-infected humans or... Goddamn death class of Neanderthals. It doesn't really fucking matter because you're com copying already existing DNA. Uh. All oh, right. Oh no. A release. Oh. Actually, his voice actor is actually pretty decent. It's just that I don't like the sound of his voice. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Sure, Scarface. Oh, look him up. Look him up. Or are you gonna leave him here to rot? Yep. We're gonna preserve your corpse forever and ever. Oh, well, whatever. So we're miraculously the only ones who made it. Huh. For the stupid institute plan, because they need to have a pure-blooded baby against the FEV, because that's how it works, I guess. Now we needed a reason for our characters to be involved in this shitty plot, which was wank anyway. <coughs> Frankly, I think this should have just gone, you know, an um, vault tech experiment. Uh, just another vault intro. And like I said, have it like taken place shortly after the war. Like, I mean, we're sure they mean 80 goddamn years, but, you know, you catch my drift. Or hell, maybe even 30. <laughs> nah, not 30. <laughs> Giant roaches. What the hell? Yeah, that's, uh... That's a good input, Miss uh, Lee Zetian.
I may change the name to something Korean. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that she was Korean. Maybe they went during the... Yeah, let's just say she's a Korean who was in the Korean Armed Forces. They met during the war or whatever. Because the war was at the Yangtze. The Americans were winning like the war um, in terms of boots on the ground. What happened? Where is everyone? Eat hell. Uh, eat fist. Ah, it's like Kwondo. Actually, I have no idea what Korean names are like. Because I'm goddamn ignorant. Stimpax! Oh, wait. I'm gonna turn survival mode on. Gameplay! There we go. Oh, it's very much interesting to know fast travel, saving only when you sleep, increase lethality and sickness, fatigue, and more. See the survival entry and help for details. Yes, sir. Is this all that's left? Alright, I would say so. All that is left is shitty writing and faults of what could have been. Nice. Coming back later for you. <laughs> With a freeze ray. Yaddy yaddy. I'll take that. I'll take you. Oh, but she just. Oh, right now we're gonna. Oh, this is also so. So stupid. All right, so you know, remember if she played Fallout One and Two, remember like how um, the fact that the, um, that it was and um, like the default, the defaults, they were like the, you know they were the designed to test human nature. Remember how that was actually kind of suspenseful and was kind of like oh shit, it was a twist. And here it's just like, I don't know, like the first couple of minutes in the game, it's like, Vault 111 was designed to test the long-term effects of suspended uh, animation of, on underwear human subjects. Your staff will be short-term assignment to monitor basic human reality. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault Tech technicians. Under no circumstances is suspension to be dis disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable, insubordination, or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method for cadaver disposal. Right. That's fucking stupid. You know, build that shit up, just to be like, uh, you know, for the new players, it's like, oh no, the vaults are experiments. There's, there's no build up, no nothing, it's just like, alright, so imagine you're a new player and you're like, oh, alright, this is like, sort of like the 50s. Oh, and there's war going on. I'm going inside the bunker. And, oh, the bunker was a test? Well, there were more of these bunkers? Or what? Huh? Like, fa fa Fallout 3, um, like, for just, like, so much of the uh, story that didn't make sense, what it did do well was that it really built up the whole Fallout world. I have long dreamed to make a crunch and freezing available and put them on the metal phone, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Overseas logs, you got something? You got something for me? Oh, I don't really give a shit. Alright, open the. Uh, oh, no, no. Yeah, confidential, overseas eyes only. Why is the overseas terminal in the middle of fucking here? Why doesn't he have a nice overseas office? But, whatever. Guess this is the overseas office, right here in the middle of fucking. Uh, it's, uh. Okay, that, that's also just bad feng shui. Like, this is supposed to be the overseer's office. This is supposed to be... Is anyone alive? It's supposed to be overseer, so I'm going in to see the overseer. And, uh, oh, here he is. He's sitting on... Oh, I thought he, had, I thought he just had, like, a plastic chair. <laughs> that would have been fucking stupid. <laughs> would be stupid. They should have, like, put the desk here. So, you know, wh whichever angle you go into the room, you are always facing him. Uh, that's enough talk about feng shui. Cue the House of the Dead music. What is going on? We must find the others. Oh no, more roaches! Reload, reload, reload. <laughs> what did they say again in House of the Dead when you had to reload? Re, 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 reload, shake your gun. To reload. Reload, reload, reload. I don't remember. It's been way too fucking long since I played House of the Dead. Die. Die for my flaming fist. Oh. Eat shit. Alrighty, let's put on that pit boy.
Bonk. Ah, yadi yadi yadi. What I think it really is bad about this um, whole intro is the lack of other characters than just Nate and um, Nora, I think her name was, and just, you know, Sean and the whole Kellogg thing, because otherwise there are no characters in this intro. And that's what, you know, in um, Fallout 3, what the difference was, is that you had all these different characters, and uh, the way they interacted, you had more of a feel uh, of how the Fallout world sort of worked, and how, it, uh, how the people interacted with each other with their hopes and dreams, or and that kind of shit. And Nora and Nate are kind of blank, blank slate, so you don't really got that all what pre-war culture was like because it was pretty different from our own in a lot of ways no, whatever i guess it's just like no just imagine if it's the 50s only it's the future Ooh, let's get our asses out of here open up yes yes cute emotional music very nice it's also really shitty compared to you know the yeah I've, I've talked about this like in my uh Frost videos, look at this. Holstering the pistol and just disappears. Didn't even fucking bother to like make a holster thing like they did follow free and just any other games they've done. That's just such piss man, look at that. Mm. Calm the fuck on. No attention to detail, no, just like oh. Oh, it just disappears. Whatever. Oh, shit. Attention to detail for fucking nerds. Alright, you wanna yeah, Pete Hines reading the, uh, hearing this shit like, oh, you, uh, you want like attention to detail? You want people to holster their weapons in holsters? Oh, you fucking nerd. For your safety, yaddy yaddy yaddy. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Eat shit and die. Well, let's go proceed to another loading screen. Oh boy. Oh wait, uh, yeah, I can change my name. Uh, let's look up Korean female name. I'll just pick the first one. I'll probably, g <laughs> I'll probably be named after some Korean game pop star or something. Korean names, girl. Oh wait, did I just skip it? Whatever. You know, I don't really give a shit. Lee Zetian it is. Don't care. Oh, let's just do this. Huh. There's a weapon mod just right here at the beginning. Oh, is this like Doug Mitchell's house now? Because I remember what Doug Mitchell's house looked like in uh, Fallout New Vegas after uh, I went there a couple times. Alright, we got that. Uh, Alright, I'm like wondering, like, oh, what does it look like? Oh, right, it's not on my goddamn back because I'm just. Look at this. Oh, that's so fucking stupid. Why do you take away features, goddamn, man? Why do you gotta take away features from a fucking game? Why can't you just be like, oh, nope. <laughs> Sanctuary Hills. Oh, let's just follow the path. Graphics look pretty decent. I gotta go that way. Follow the marker like the little mouse that you are. Uh, I'm not gonna go run off yet because I want dog meat. I kind of think it's a shame that you can't uh, name dog meat, but to be fair, I wouldn't name dog meat anything but dog meat. Dog meat was fucking awesome in Fallout 3, and he's awesome in Fallout 4. Really, dogs are awesome in general, so. <laughs> That's uh, another thing I can give Bethesda credit to. They did uh, dog meat hmm, really well. I mean, the Fallout 1 he was cool and all, but kind of died a lot. It's kind of hard keeping the little fucker alive until the end of the game. So 
so you didn't really have the same bond with him. Oh. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, Cotsworth. Oh, what a surprise. Uh, uh, uh. uh um my god Cotsworth, they did it all that fighting my god. Uh, did it. such that dialogue such immersion Everything's dead. Everything's actually this dead. mob makes everything more laughable oh, yes. because you can just see how little choice you've got that's one thing that they do with the whole um the sly bastards what they do with the whole fa uh, mass effect wheel, uh, dialogue wheel is they actually just hide how little variation there's because it just like says yes or no like it says something that makes it sound like it's a different option but ultimately it's the same shit they came into the cell maybe but of course in the intro they um have like the most like diversion and have the most polish because you know they want game reviewers and people to play it to be like oh yeah i really you liked it I really liked it, uh, and uh, I know there was lots of dialogue options, and then later it just gets, you know, worse and worse and more shit. Uh, they came into the fall, maybe saw them. They had guns and strange outfits. Ah, uh, he's in a better place. He's in a better place. Yeah. Sean's been kidnapped. Sean's been kidnapped. It's worse than I thought. Mm. You're suffering from Cue the audience laugh for E3 annoying. presentation. Not eating properly for two hundred years will do that, I'm afraid. Ha ha ha. Two hundred years, two hundred and ten. Tell me what's going on. Two hundred years? That's insane. A bit over two hundred and ten. Rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. Mm. That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. Codsworth. Are we done? Just tending the garden, Mom. Though it is hard to be Oh, God fucking God. damn it. They did it. Seriously? All that fight. Everything. If he can't be dead. It doesn't uh. make sense. Ah, uh, yada 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 yada. I get it. I get it. I get it. Sure. Uh. Mm. Hurry up. Mm. Her face is brutally fucking <laughs> scarred. I do love that. That you can give your character like brutal goddamn scars, make him look like a maniac. Two hundred years. Codsworth, you're acting. I. I. No. Oh yeah, we're at speed skill. Remember Lacatlanius? Yeah, we're not gonna get that again. What do you know, Cotsworth? What do you know, Cotsworth? I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. Two hundred years and nothing I, came I through. I did find this hollow tape. I believe so. Thank you, buddy Thank boy. You, uh -huh. Now, I shall. Uh. Right. Let's kill some shit. I want to play Fallout. <laughs> the more I play this, the more I want to play Fallout One. Thank you. I gotta use some stim packs before long. I never use stim packs. There we go. Check that into your tit. Check that into the juice bag. Up it up it up.
I just, I, I really, it really brands my novel. Just like the fact that the gun just disappears. What? Come on, Codsworth. Well, you could head into the city. Uh huh. There's still people alive in Concord? There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? I shall remain here and secure the home. Good boy. Let's get the fuck out of here before the devil Preston Garvey shows up. Are well, you going straight in his direction? Yeah, I need some more diverse weapons. Oh, wait, what I do need is to sleep in a bed and save because I'm playing on survival mode and I don't want none of that shit. Can I just save in a bed or do I need to sleep in it? Because, oh, shit. Oh, you're nearly had death by Red Roach. That would have been funny. Oh, look, look at this oh, old school Fallout player getting his, getting murdered by fucking Red Roaches. It's a legendary. Oh, yeah, let, let's talk about the goddamn legendary. Dumbest fucking shit ever. I said it like a fact, but whatever. Um, just, oh god. Just like, oh, what's that? Oh, it's a death claw, and he's being beaten to death by a feral ghoul, or a feral uh, by a rat roach. Uh, but why? Oh, you know why? It's the legendary rat roach, or it's a legendary feral ghoul. He's like the fucking Beowulf of feral ghouls, and you can just beat a regular death claws because his power level is 9,000. That's so, god, that's goddamn stupid. No. You know what a feral ghoul should be, in my opinion, just like in terms of the plot? It should just be an, uh, especially if it's 200 years after the war, because feral ghouls wouldn't have that, like, long of a shelf life, I would say. I would say that's pretty goddamn unlikely. Ah. Should just. Should find a melee weapon. Or just use your fists, like a proper uh, Asian would. Uh. Oh god, it's not it's a legendary red boat. You just five million bazillion damage, man. That's the way it is. I'm naturally drawn to play this game as a sniper guy character type of girl because I don't then I'll have to listen to less dialogue. <laughs> I can justify just walking around on my own and shooting crap. Fatigue. You were thirsty from lack of water. Is that a fucking katana? Oh right, I did install a katana mode, so... Uh, well, it's a Japanese thing and I'm playing a Chinese character. Unless I can change the name. But, whatever. It's a pretty rusty fucking thing though. But whatever, I'll take even a rusty... Yeah, it looks rusty. Probably would like to go to... N need to go to the crafting menu or something to fix it up a little bit. Is there a bed somewhere I can sleep in? No, I need to find the water. Uh, drink 200 year old milk. Yeah, people not having set up shop in here already. Can't really buy that one. Well, actually, it looks like they already have. Several times, but Cotsworth doesn't really mention that. Or they didn't really change Cotsworth, apparently. Maybe it was just like some uh, small hick town. They didn't leave any tracks of themselves though. But I mean, interesting if they did. Like if there was more of an history behind Sanctuary Hills that you couldn't cover. If you know, people people would, you know, go and settle up here. I mean, there was a bed. Where did you know, camp a couple of times. It's 200, again, 200 fucking years. Is there a bed? I want a bed. Bed, 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 bed. Give me a bed. Hello? Now what you need is water. Right. That's true. What do I have in my inventory? Oh, I don't, need, I don't care. Oh, what's that visible weapons configuration? Ah! So the mod does work. Hold on. Um, Alright. And um, nothing. God damn it. 
Ah, uh, never mind that. Let's find some fucking water. Oh wait, I also wanted to save. That's why I wanted to find a bed. I can find a bed at the the, the gas station for the road. So let's just go there and hope I don't die from stupidity on my way there. Uh, I will say this: I really like the default suit. Um, look, <laughs> I bet you do. I bet you like those. Uh, Assets of the vault suit. No, but seriously, they um, look more like they didn't follow one, like really tight and blue. Tight, tight, blue, and proud. She kind of actually looks like um, what the character looked like from uh, Followed One, like the sprite. Except with the ugly 111 at the back. Them's the brakes. <laughs> Now we're gonna rescue Dark Me Demon Carlton episode and we'll see the next one. We're playing Fallout 1. Alright, I could wear this. But instead I'll just take his crap. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, good sir. <laughs> oh no, it's a dog being attacked by mole rats. Let's help him. Oh well. Guess he doesn't need any help. Hey boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Who's oh, a good little dog meat? You wanna come with me, buddy? Oh. Come with me, pal. Ah, oh, it's a good okay, little dog. Then. Let's stick together. Good little dog meat. Alright, let's find a bed somewhere right now. Kinda cool that they gave you dog meat right at the beginning. Jet, the east coast, and no like proper mention of it why it's on the east coast, and you can also find it in vaults. This is uh, dirty, 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 dirty. I actually, I think you also could like find Jet in uh, Fallout Free Vault. This again, there's like kind of internal inconsistencies that kind of just bug me. Idomatic. Oh wait, how, how did you how did you go into build mode? Um, build mode. Or bed? Where is the bed? It's survival mode. I need the bed before I go out into firefight combat over yonder. Alright, go get him, dog meat. Ah, there we go. They did do that very well with um, the enemies, like the variations and stuff. What are you talking about? I don't even know. What does this do? No. No, don't get crushed there, Doc Mead. And no bet nowhere. Yeah, who the fuck is gonna sleep at a gas station? Drifters? I don't know. Right, can't quick save. That's kind of not what I wanted. Alright, build mode. Uh, it's probably in there somewhere. Controls. In workshop, pull down the button. No, all right. So, what is it? Quick save, quick load, quick data. Maybe I can't build yet because I haven't met Preston Garvey. Why do you consider it that I don't have a bed anywhere nearby? I'm looking for a bed because I don't wanna die. Oh shit, sh oh fuck, that's nasty. Oh, get away, get away, get away, get away. No. Oh shit. I like him though. 
I like them bug enemies. I want a next Fallout game to be set in a swamp, like Louisiana or something. That'd be the fucking shit. Well, I did hear about New Orleans, and if Obsidian did New Orleans, man, that'd be some shit I'd want to see. Bad, 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 bad. Is there a bed in there? Oh, there's a caps there. Oh, wow, 14 caps. What a stash. Whiskey. I don't need whiskey. I'm hearing gunfire. But I actually hope that they die. All of them die. In fact, I hope that the raiders win. And fuck Preston Garvey's corpse. Because he's everything I hate about this game. Should we romance Preston Garvey for shits and giggles? Ah, oh, Jesus. Is there a bed anywhere? Betty bed. I want to find the bed. I don't want to fight death class without saving beforehand. Actually, it's more the bullets than I'm concerned about, but getting shot. Oh yeah, that's another thing we're going to talk about next episode. Over there. Is there a bed in here? Ah, so you were bitching about the fact that you couldn't really customize your character because... Bed? That's a bed. Yes, yes, yes. You're peckish from a lack of food. Oh, whatever. I guess I could have... Uh, oh, I probably also could have saved in the gas station. Because... Ah, I'm, I'm beginning to see the shit worse. Ah, now he's catching up the slow bastard. Yes, yes. Should have perhaps cooked some food, but... I'll bet the raiders have some of my corpses after I kill him. Oh, right. I'm gonna... Uh,